Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on logarithmic equations. This is part one of this video. Check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to playlist containing all the videos on logarithms and logarithmic equations. So we we'll start with the first example. Example one, solve the following logarithmic equations. We have the problems A, B, and C for example 1. So we start with the A part of example 1. For A, we have log x to base 2 is equal to 3. We have in the previous videos established the relationship between logarithm and indices. So this is going to maintain this x is equal to the base to the power of 3 so that we now have our x to be 8 since 2 raised to the power 3 is 2 times 2 times 2 making 8 so we are done with example 1a we go to 1b for 1b we have log 81 to big x is equal to 4. Still following the same laws we applied in A, this is going to give us 81 equal to x to the power of 4. Then we now look at 81. What number raised to power 4 will give us 81? And that's going to be 3. So 3 raised to power 4 is equal to x raised to power 4 and since the indices are equal therefore the bases are equal so that we have x to be equal to 3 then we go to c part of the problem for c we have log 25 to base root a is equal to negative 4 we see apply the same so we have this 25 is equal to square root of a to the power of negative 4. Um, we are going to express 25 as index form as well as root a. So we have 5 squared, which is 25, is equal to a raised to the power half or raised to the power negative 4. And uh, applying law of indices here, half times negative 4 will give us uh, a to the power of negative 2. Um, we still have 5 to the power of 2 is equal to a to the power of negative 1 all to the power of 2. Since multiplying this out will give us the negative 2. And again, since the indices are equal here, we have two here, we have two here. We now have 1 over a is equal to 5. Since a to the power of negative 1 is 1 over a. Therefore, we have a to be equal to 1 over 5. And we have done justice to example 1. So we go to example 2. For example 2, but to find the value of the unknown base in each of the equations so that um, we have a, a, b, and c. Straight away, we start from a. For example, 2a, um, here we are going to apply the law by taking this to become the power of 3 here. So we now have it as log 3 squared to base x. This two has become the index here, and this will still be equal to 4. And remember, this is 9, so log 9 base x is equal to 4. Then, still applying the law we have used in the previous example, that is the relationship that exists between indices and logarithm, we have 9 is equal to x to the power of 4. And 9 is 3 squared, and uh, we can split this into x squared to the power of 2. 
at that point the indices are equal that is 2 is equal to 2 here so we now say x squared is equal to 3 so that x will be square root of 3 so we are done with example 2a we go to 2b for 2b we have log 5 to base x is equal to half and again we have 5 is equal to x raised to power half um here is straight away we find the square of both sides finding square of both sides we have x is equal to 5 squared and 5 squared is 25 therefore x is equal to 25 with this we have found the unknown for the base represented in example 2b so we go to 2c for 2c we have log 45 to base a minus log 36 to base a plus log 20 to base a is equal to 2. so what we do here is we first apply the law if you are subtracting you divide and if you are adding you multiply so since because they have the same base so we have log to base a 45 divided by 36 times 20 is equal to 2 and this will give us log 25 to base a is equal to 2 so relationship between indices and log reading again we have 25 is equal to a to the power of 2 and we know that 25 is written as index form of 5 as 5 squared so we have a 5 squared is equal to a squared and uh, since the indices are equal the bases are equal so that a is equal to 5 and that is the end of solution to example 2 we go to example 3 for example 3 we are to solve the logarithmic equations in a b and c so starting from a we have log to base 2 3x plus 4 minus log to base 2x minus 2 is equal to 3 there's another log being joined by subtraction or minus sign so what we do is applying the appropriate law of log reading we have a log to base 2 3x plus 4 it is going to be divide which is the same thing as over x minus 2 and that is equal to 3 applying the relationship that exists between indices and log reading we have a 3x plus 4 over x minus 2 is equal to 2 raised to power 3 and you know 2 raised to power 3 is 8 so we cross multiply cross multiplying we have a 3x plus 4 is equal to 8 into x minus 2 so we are going to expand this bracket and in doing that we are going to interchange the sides so that we now have 8x minus 16 is equal to 3x plus 4 now collecting the like terms we have 8x minus 3x is equal to 4 plus 16 and this is 5x is equal to 20 dividing both sides by 5 x is equal to 4 and we are done with solution to example 3a we go to 3b and from here we have a log to base 4 and here log to base 4 they have the same base and this is being joined by addition so we are going to maintain the logarithm to the same base and uh, x minus 6 since this is addition it will be multiplied by 2 and is equal to 2 um, here we are going to still maintain the relationship that exists between indices and log readings 
So we have 2 into x minus 6 is equal to 4 raised to the power 2. And uh, we are going to expand 2x minus 12 is equal to 16. Since 4 squared is 16, collecting the like terms, 2x is equal to 16 plus 12. And 2x is equal to 28. Dividing both sides by 2, we have x is equal to 14. And that is the end of solution to example 3b. So we go to example 3c. For 3c, we stated in our earlier videos that if the base is not indicated, the base is 10. So here we have log to base 10, 7x plus 1, since this is minus, it's going to be divided by 9x minus 5 is equal to 0. So we still remember this is main, going to be maintained. 7x plus 1 over 9x minus 5 is equal to 10 raised to power 0. And we know 10 raised to power 0 is 1. So cross multiplying, we have 7x plus 1 is equal to 9x minus 5. So collecting the like terms, I have 7x minus 9x is equal to negative 5 minus 1. This is going to give us negative 2x is equal to negative 6. Dividing both sides by negative 2, x is equal to 3. And that is the end of solution to this problem. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you have not done that. Also check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on logarithms and logarithmic equations. See you in our next video. Till then, goodbye.